Welcome to Mountain Brook Farm. This is Wade Belter, and I'm showing showing you my potentially pregnant doe's hutch. This is Malibu Barbie. You can see she's removed a lot of the straw and hay that normally is in her cage. And now we'll look at the behavior of Olivia. You can see that she's not really eaten all of her food because it's mid-afternoon now. I'm gonna go around and peek inside the hutch. Notice that the does have really begun to burrow or hollow out an area for um, kindling and giving birth to kits. And then we'll show you the same thing. There's a significant behavior change with Malibu Barbie and that'll be the next hutch that I open up here because this doe never has straw or hay inside of her hutch. Wow, look at that. So you can weigh your dough, you can palpate your dough, and you can watch her behavior to find out if she's pregnant. Hello, my name is Wade Belter, and welcome to Mountain Brook Rabbit Tree. We're located in Northeast Alabama. Um, I have a hollow mop dough that I'm going to palpate today. Today is day 26 of gestation. Um, the rabbit gestation is 28 to 31 days usually they um, kindle give birth to their um, kits on day 31 or any time in that 28 to 31 days i recently tried um, to palpate my does on the 18th and i could not tell if she was pregnant or not it's recommended that um, you palpate between day 10 and day 14 because at that time you'll be able to feel um, several small um, grape sized round things and that's an indication that your doe is pregnant. Another way to tell if she's pregnant is to weigh her the day you breed her and then weigh her again between day 10 and day 14 to see if there's a rapid weight gain and that will help tell you. And I don't know how accurate accurate that is because maybe it has to go further along in the gestation before there's really a weight difference. I'm not sure. But um, I'd like to show you my Holland Lop Doe Malibu Barbie. Here she is. And so I was just out checking the nest boxes or the, the hutch itself, and I see that she and my other doe are both starting to make a, a little hollowed nest. This doe usually um, pulls all of her, all of her um, straw out of her hutch and puts it in her large pen. So I'm just gonna see if I can feel anything. And this is, all that's recommended is putting some pressure, you know, and in all honesty, I cannot tell the difference and I don't want to palpate really hard. Yeah, I really cannot tell the difference. So I think I'll just put her back in her hutch and um, get my nest boxes ready. I'm gonna go get my other dough, my gray dough, my Dutch dough, and check her. So I'll be right back. Hey there, welcome back to Mountain Brook Rabbitry. And I am going to show you my gray Dutch dough. Her name is Olivia. Hey Olivia. And um, if you watch the beginning of the, of the video, you should be informed that um, today is day 26 of a 31-day gestation um, on a pregnant doe. And um, this girl is really making a nest in her hutch already. She hasn't pulled any hair, but she has a nice clean burrow. Um, so what I've been trying to do is palpate my does to find out if they're pregnant. And something that I'm noticing that's similar between this one and Malibu Barbie, the Holland Lop doe that I just palpated, 
I don't really feel any um, babies individually while I'm doing this. I guess what I do notice is that she's just got a fat belly and it's just kind of big and round. And that's the same thing with the Hollenlop dough. Um, so I think that I've got two pregnant does. I guess I won't know for sure until the 31st, but I think it's a pretty good, um, pretty good uh, belief that they're both pregnant. So I'll be right back and show you how I'm gonna prepare my nest box. Even though it's day 26, they recommend putting your nest box in on day 28 so that they're not in there too long. And um, you wanna prevent your does from turning their nest box into a litter box. But since these guys are already starting to make their nest, I think that I'm gonna go ahead and put it in today on day 26. So I'll, I'll be right back and show you how I do that. Hey, welcome back to Mountain Brook Rabbitry. Um, I have two does that are on day 26 of a 31 day gestation. Um, I am noticing that their behavior uh, with them trying to burrow and really make a nice round uh, area of hay and bedding inside of their hutch. Um, just by their behavior alone, I'm thinking that both of them are pregnant. And um, since I noticed that they're doing that, I think that today on day 26, I'm just gonna go ahead and put their nest box in. Um, I did a video on making your nest box previously. You can look for that on YouTube, but I just used Plastec material and you could use cardboard. Um, you could use just about anything you want. These crates were pretty cheap. They were only six to $10, somewhere in that price range. Um, so it was a lot more efficient for me to just pick these up. Um, they're also heavier, so if a rabbit goes to jump in, they should be pretty sturdy. Um, and they are quite large, and since they're so large, I'm really not going to put a cover on top, unless for some reason it seems like that will benefit them. Um, I have a covered hutch attached to a rabbit pen. That's how my six-hole hutch is designed. So they really already have a cover and protection in there. So... This is removable. Um, I just zip tied um, sides, inserts. So when I'm done with this, I'll be able to remove all of these inserts, wash them, um, sanitize them, and the like. So just want to show you how I'm going to prepare my nest boxes. Um, your paper shredder will come in handy. Oops. So I just shredded a bunch of newspaper. And the purpose of putting newspaper in is to wick up any moisture from the kits as they grow and develop. And should the dough um, decide to um, urinate inside of the box. And I'm kind of putting in a good amount um, I have used newspaper bedding in the past, and um, the rabbits really like it, so right now they just have straw in with the winter season we have. It is, we've just moved into the month of February, so just going to fill this up like this. I think I'll use it all. She can, the does can decide whether they want to remove some of it or, or leave it all in there. Um, and then I'm just going to, I 
have some hay that we have for the horses. And this is very different from the hay that I feed the rabbits. Um, and I'm thinking this will help them kind of start their nest. I feed all of our rabbits orchard grass and I just pick up a bale at Tractor Supply because um, that's the best way to get it here in Alabama. And that's about it. Just, oop. All we have to do is just hollow a little bit in there and I'll take these out to my hutches and put them inside. So here I am out in the rabbitry and I'm just going to um, put these in the hutches um, so you can see how I do that. And John's videotaping, so he'll just kind of follow us over here. <clears throat> So my hutches are styled after the Canadian rabbit hutch. I have a little door here that I can open just to peek in and check on the bunnies without actually disturbing them. Um, so this nice little area that my dough has hollowed out, I'm just gonna slide that over. Oh, and she does have some pulled hair in here. And then I'm just going to put, put my nest box in. Like so. I'm just gonna let my doe do the rest. It'll be interesting to see how she works with that. That's Olivia's hutch. And over here is Malibu Barbie's hutch. And she has just a small start in the back. here and get some straw. So I'm just putting in some extra straw since this doe has pulled all of her straw out. And that'll enable her to climb up and get into her nest box. And we'll check on it in a few days. So thank you for um, watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe and look for some future updates. Thank you.